You stupid neighbors! I am trying to make a goddamn video! So please, for the love of God, be quiet! It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. I am just, uh, sorry you guys, there's like a bunch of Mexicans who are outside cutting my yard, and guess what, I'm a big white supremacist because of that. There's this viral video on Facebook about these Muslim feminists who speak out against Alan Hersey Ali. Considering the fact that the video is viral, I figure why the hell not respond to it. Alan Hersey Ali, you do not speak for us. You do not speak for us. You don't speak for us. The last time I checked, Alan Hersey Ali speak out against the oppression of women in Islam, which includes Muslim women, so uh, yeah, she is actually speaking for you guys, too. You are not our ally. You're right. The person that speaks out against Muslim oppression is not your ally whatsoever. You're not interested in our lives or our freedom. Well, Islam, you know, just, uh, does not oppress women every single day, so whenever Alan Hersey Ali just speaks out against Islam, she has no woman in mind when she speaks out against it. You've described Muslim women as being irrational. Docile? Having no minds of our own. Actually, that is true. I mean, Muslim women don't really have any kind of minds of their own because they're controlled by the men of their societies. You've called us slaves. And let me guess, there is just no sex slavery in Islam. None whatsoever, right? How can you claim to stand for our liberation when you simply repeat the language of our oppressors? The language of your oppressors. Um, I'm sorry, but the last time I checked, Muslim women are not oppressed in the West. They are free to practice whatever religion they want to practice. So yes, just because you happen to be criticized does not mean that you're oppressed. This is not the language of solidarity or understanding or freedom. This is the language of patriarchy and misogyny. Everything is sexist. Everything is full of misogyny. Everything is sexist. The patriarchy. Okay, seriously though, there is a real patriarchy in the fucking Middle East. And you're telling me that Islam is not a patriarchy? Yet somehow when she speaks out against that patriarchy, she's endorsing the patriarchy. What kind of sick, twisted logic is this? This is the language of white supremacy. How is speaking out against Islam white supremacy? You're just criticizing ideas. You don't want supremacy over one group just because you criticize some bad ideas. What are you talking about? This is the language used to justify wars, invasion, and genocide. How can you possibly say that criticizing Islam justifies wars and genocides when your text calls for wars and genocide? Just, how can you not see the cognitive dissonance here? You're not here to help us or stand with us. You're here to profit from an industry that exists to dehumanize us. People are different from ideologies. So when Alan Hersey Ali criticized Islam, she is criticizing the ideology itself. When you criticize an ideology, it does not dehumanize people. When you talk about Muslim people themselves, then yes, it does dehumanize them. But guess what? Dehumanizing a person and criticizing an ideology are completely different things. An industry built on selling hatred, misinformation, and stereotypes. Kind of like your industry right here, saying that Islam is peaceful and loving and caring, perhaps. It's a lucrative career, appearing on panels, TV shows, big budget events, where people have to pay big money to hear you speak. Yeah, and the same thing applies to Muslims who are paid to speak to spread some bullshit like this video. <laughs> It's just amazing, like, the amount of projection here.
you know what your audience wants and you give it to them. Exactly. That's why there's so many pro-Islam videos nowadays because people want to cater towards their audiences. It doesn't matter if it's Alicia Keys, it does not matter if it's the Oscars, and it certainly does not matter if it's AJ+. People want to cater towards people who love these ideas to spread Islam. Despite globally recognized institutions describing you as an extremist. Do you guys truly believe that the SPLC is a credible source? They're the exact same organization that listed Majin Nawaz and Gamergate and men rights activist groups as hate groups. For the case of Majin Nawaz, he is a liberal Muslim that criticized radical Islam and Islamic terrorism. Also, according to the FBI, Anita Sarkeesian reported Gamergate as harassing her and guess what? It has been demonstrated that Gamergate was not harassing her with bomb threats. Also, according to a study, the vast majority of Gamergaters have been demonstrated not to be online trolls and haters. Also, besides Dean Esme, fuck Dean Esme, almost every single MRA I talked to have been all sane. So how exactly is that site really credible? Despite your claims being debunked over and over again by academics and experts all around the world. If you're going to claim that women in Islam are not oppressed, by all means citation needed. Despite your closest associates being white nationalists and far-right politicians. Just because there are far-right nationalists that like Alan Hersey Ali does not mean that she agree with those ideas. Just saying. It seems that people never get tired of touring you to repeat the same rhetoric over and over again. Because there is nothing quite as satisfying to a colonizer than a subject who becomes the salesperson for their ideology. Absolute projection. Every single last woman in this video has been a saleswoman for Islam the whole entire time. How the fuck can Alan Hersey Ali be a colonizer if she was fucking oppressed underneath Islam? Just tell me how. We're not here to say that Muslims are perfect. No one is. But your narrative doesn't support our struggles. It erases them. Oh, is she erasing the oppression of women by talking about the oppression of women? I just, I just, under, I don't really understand you guys. Like all women, we resist patriarchy and misogyny every day. Yeah, underneath Islamic countries, what she's trying to talk about in her fucking speeches, yet somehow she erases those speeches things. Like our mothers and grandmothers before us, we strive for dignity and equality within our cultures and outside of them. But you don't care. Your livelihood depends on pretending our histories don't exist. That we're simply faceless, nameless victims. Too stupid to escape our savage traditions. And guess what? There are some traditions that are better off in the past, like Islam. You collapse our plurality into a single convenient stereotype. This is not intellectual. It's lazy. This hatred you feed puts us in danger every day. While it's true that criticizing Islam can put you into danger, it is not the same thing as a Muslim woman getting oppressed underneath a theocracy. It encourages fear, persecution, and violence. You're absolutely right. Islam promotes fear, persecution, and violence. This is not brave. This is not progressive. Yet somehow promoting Islam is the most progressive thing possible? That is just so backwards, and this comes directly from a liberal. I do not understand how any person could defend Islam when Islam does not want progression at all. This is propaganda. Exactly. The whole entire video. Just propaganda. Bravery is not selling lies. Bravery is living through the relentless hostility, discrimination, and pressure of a world that fears us. Yet somehow, Hersey Ali never experienced oppression. I'm just so lost right here. I'm just so lost.